what it is, what it do, Cyber World. It is your girl, the one, the only. Ash said it. Ash said it dot com. Ash said it dot com. Welcome to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Over 1,700 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. None of this would be possible without you guys. So I thank you so very, very much. And yes, School is out for summer. All right, school is out for summer, but you know there are still some things that you can do to make sure that that resume is set up and make sure that you're on the right path wherever your career may lead you. So today I've got with me author of Ignite Your Career and partner of the O'Connell Group executive, the wonderful Chris Holmes. Hey, Chris. Hey, Ash. How are you? I am great. How are you doing today? I am wonderful. Awesome, awesome. So, Chris, what part of the country are you at today? I am in St. Louis, Missouri. Ooh, St. Louis. And what kind of temps is St. Louis getting this week? You know what? We have been all over the place this spring. It's been really wonky, but this weekend we're going to be mid-80s and sunny, so we are excited. Ooh, yes. I'm here in Atlanta, and, you know, it, it's pretty temperamental here as well. <laughs> so, But I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty blazing summer. <laughs> pretty. Humbling. I have a sister who lives there as well, so I hear that from her. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, Chris, so first off, where, when did you decide that you wanted to be an author and write books? So, Ash, I have been thinking about this for about 15 years. Um, <laughs> I've been with the O'Connell Group for 25 years, was in marketing for a decade before that. Oh. But I've been doing presentations at schools for about 15 years and seeing how hungry the students were for this knowledge yeah. made me think there is a need out there. So I've been thinking about it for a long time. It didn't mean I did it anything mm. until like the last year and a half. Oh, wow. So how long did the book actually take to complete? You know, it was quicker than I expected because once I really decided to write it, and, and I decided to write it because I was working with a personal coach who told me every time I talked about it, I lit up like a Christmas tree. He told me, <laughs> I'm not getting any younger, so if I'm going to do it, I better get going. Um, so once I started writing, it was like lava flowing out of a, a, a mountain. It, it really came out very naturally once I realized here are the chapters, here's the flow I want. The knowledge was there, and it was just getting it on paper and then refining it. So the whole process from start to finish was seven or eight months because oh, wow. um, I worked with a phenomenal publisher, too, who yeah. really helped streamline it. Okay. Cool beans. And as you're going through the process, did you know exactly, like, how many chapters you wanted to actually make or as you're writing and you're getting closer and closer to completion where you're like, okay, well, you know what? I want to add this too. You know what? This is also important. <laughs> yeah, it did evolve over time. But what mm. was really important to me from the get-go was to make sure my book was really readable, relatable, and actionable. I mm. cannot do dense books. Yeah. If I try to start reading a dense book, it either puts me to sleep or I just give it away. I can't do it. <laughs> but the books that draw me in and and tell me stories but also really give me information mm. that I can act on, those are the ones that I love and I go back to time and time again. And so that was how I wanted to write my book. Gotcha. Let's talk a little bit about the audience for this book. Who did you actually picture as your... Um, your feature audience, the the people that you really wanted to reach. So that's a great question. Um, so so at O'Connell Group, I work with everybody from somebody coming out of college to somebody who is a chief marketing officer, mm. twenty five years into their career, um, and so the information in the book is gleaned from work I've done with that entire group of people. And so it's relevant for anybody at any stage. And yet, I wrote it with the student, 
the young professional and the career changer in mind because I had to target somebody. Mm -hmm. But I've had VPs read it and say, oh, my God, it's so relevant. I just had somebody today who was a director at a top company who said, this book is a gold mine. It crystallized all the things that were floating around in my mind, but I was never able to really understand all the disparate information, mm-hmm. and it brought it all together in a very logical format for me. So mm-hmm. it, it's written for the student, and the first chapter is talking to the student and the young professional, but it's appropriate for anybody at any phase in their career. Gotcha, gotcha. I love that. And especially for people that are more established in their career path, what did you have in mind to share with them in the book? So the front half of the book is very strategic. And it really makes you sit back and think, what are my strengths? What are my superpowers? What phase am I at in my career? What type of culture do I thrive in? Mm-hmm. And make it, it makes you really always think about the long term and where do you want to end up when you're making your decisions. Mm-hmm. And that's relevant for anybody, independent of where you are in your career. Right. The back half is all the tactical pieces. Now you know where you want to go. How do you get there? So for those people who are already into their career, I think what I tell you, the book will make you stop and think, am I I doing the right thing? Am I thriving? Am I in a role that leverages my strengths? Or is my job a slog? And am I really always, you know, climbing uphill or does it feel as natural as breathing and Mm. when your job feels as natural as breathing and you're constantly knocking the ball out of the park that's when you know it aligns with your strengths and you're right where you belong i love that as natural as breathing I, i i love that phrasing that's absolutely that's hitting it dead on so what else are you involved in Chris, because you you got a lot of you wear a lot of hats, lady. I know you're here, you're there, you're jet setting, you're across the country, you're you're moving and shaking. What else is going on with you? So, um, you know, as you mentioned, I'm also partnered a firm called O'Connell Group, and we um, are one of the top recruiting firms in the marketing and market research world, mm-hmm. and so uh, very active there both as a client manager and a candidate manager, absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. And with that and Ignite Your Career, we have also built out a website and services to help people that are not in the marketing and market research world, but offer the same services that we offer our candidates. So there we offer complete coaching, resume writing, interview prep, negotiation services to help people along their journey. And then I've also taken all the knowledge from my book and have been working with universities around the country Mm. to share the knowledge with their students, places like Kellogg Business School and University of Michigan and Rutgers and other places. And obviously during COVID, I've been doing it via Zoom, but as the fall comes out, I'm doing it in person and would love to do more. Absolutely. So if people need to get in contact with you, Chris, and they want to get you at their school or at somehow involved with their organization, how do they need to reach you? Well, there are a couple different ways. Um, One, you can go to my website, which is um, igniteyourcareerbook.com. I am also on LinkedIn, Chris Holmes. You can email me at chris at igniteyourcareerbook.com, and I will respond to any of those. But I would love to chat with folks and see how I can help. And the beauty is um, there are so many different topics in the book, and as I've done all these presentations, I've been able to um, put presentations together that cover multiple topics that are targeted towards what specific students needs and people have found it incredibly beneficial so it's really exciting to see the kids light up and really get it as as really help them narrow down where they should go because kids in school are overwhelmed there are too many choices Mm -hmm. and it can be just scary and and debilitating where they just freeze and so helping them focus in on what am I great at? And with my strengths, 
what careers might I think about going into mm. makes it manageable. Mm. And then we give them the tools to figure out how do I move forward. Gotcha. I love that. Very strategic, very helpful. Chris, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you beyond words. <laughs> Ash, it's been wonderful chatting with you. Not a problem. Again, let everyone know also, of course, where they can actually get the book. So you can get the book on Amazon, Mm -hmm. and you can also get the book through our website. Again, igniteyourcareerbook.com. I love it. Perfection. Chris, much more success to you, the whole team, everyone that's backing this movement. It's definitely needed, you know, within this pandemic and beyond as we come out of pandemic. We're claiming it. <laughs> so, absolutely. Definitely appreciate that. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face, you tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys. <laughs>